Hey guys, welcome to the channel named Tuition Tonight. In this video, we are going to create the QR code with the help of Java Swing. So this is the demo that you will create the QR code at the end. Uh, the program will be look like this. So let me just show you the demo. And this is the QR code that we are going to create in this program. Um, we will just specify the link and the QR code will redirect us to the to that page that will uh, be specified in the program. So without wasting any time, let's just start your NetBeans and create the project with the name of a QR codes. Okay. So if you want to create the form, I mean the GUI, so obviously that you have to um, create a form, but before that you have to add some jar files. Uh, I am using the Zing 1.7 and Zing Core 2.0 file. Uh, the link is under the description. You can just find these jar code through the GitHub file and the code is also mentioned there. So after adding these jar file, let's just create the form with the name of a QR, right? So this is the form on which we are going to create um, all the things means uh, all the fields through which you can just access the QR code. So this is the main heading. So let me just write QR code right here. And inside that property, you just um, you, you just um, maximize the font size. And I think that text decoration should be bold. I think the black color is all right for now just go and select the bold and click OK right now just um, drag a label onto the form and just right here the title should be enter link I guess yes title link OK now just drag the text field in which you will just pass the link of that QR code so you will just pass the link inside this field and let me just edit the variable name with the name of a link. The variable name should be small. Just drag the button right here through which you will just perform all the actions. So the text of that button should be submit. So you can add it in this way easily. All right. Now what you have to done uh, right here is just click event action and action and perform. And this is the block where you have to work. Okay. So first you have to create the try and catch block in order to handle the error if there, sh there will be any kind of error. So you don't want to just uh, terminate the program. So for that case and to avoid the termination, you have to create the try and catch blocks. Okay. So now the first thing is to import all the necessary file that will be used in um, this program. So let me just copy that file uh, from the previous um, program that we have created statically without any GUI just let me just copy these all the files make sure that all these files should be inserted in your program in order to create that program complete right so inside the try block you have to just create a first variable with the name of a QR code uh, I guess data so right here you have to pass the specific link that you want the user to be directed redirected on that page so here you have to just uh, write the link dot get text in order to get the text from the field um, that is specified on the front end on the next you have to create another variable with the name of a file path and here you will just pass the directory path i mean the file location so just go onto the document, find the NetBeans project and the package that we have, we are working. So this is the link. Let me just copy right here and just pass into the inverted commas. You have to write QR code because this is the file name of that image. Uh, every time that uh, whenever you will just run the program, so the QR code will be override on this file that is qr.png so let me just write all the code uh, fastly let me just um, make this video a little faster just uh, follow this video don't escape it and write each and everything that I have written on the screen uh, you also have to write as it is that I have written here
okay so for that case you have to create the j frame in order to just show the qr code okay so the program is now ready just paste the system order print Allen for the exceptional argument uh, and this is the program that we are um, running right here uh, this is the link portion so we have to I guess uh, just pass the Facebook link or there should be any interesting link that I should pass let me search from the Google because the www.facebook.com is a link but it is not so much interesting let me just show you uh, something interesting oh I, I guess the Coursera link is little bit more interesting right here just paste that link and uh, click the submit and this is the QR code that we have created let me show you on that uh, is the QR code is working uh, fine or not okay so this is our QR code and it is redirecting us to the perfect path perfect URL that we have passed on the inverted commas so this is the file uh, this is the page that we want the user to be redirected so this is how you can easily create the QR code and if you like this video please hit the like button and must make sure to subscribe this channel because we are going to create so many projects uh, in future so thank you